We're eating 12 grapes. Why do they do that? It doesn't make any sense. Everyone's hanging out on the street. Mm -hmm. like the streets were packed. I think I got the bean. Hola, soy Meg, soy de Estados Unidos, pero llevo unos 5 años viviendo en España. Y hoy estoy con mi amiga Ali en San Luis. Y Ali y yo estábamos hablando un poco de, de las fiestas que vienen y, bueno, empezamos a hablar sobre su experiencia en España, en Madrid, Barcelona, Toledo y tal, hace tres años. Y hablamos de unas diferencias marcadas en cómo se celebra Nochevieja en Estados Unidos versus España. En este canal hablo sobre las cosas triviales pero significativas que nos unen entre fronteras. Si quieres ver más vídeos míos sugeridos por YouTube, suscríbete al canal. So you came to Madrid in 2018 and we're there for New Year's going into 2019, mm -hmm. right? That's right, yeah. What would you say your biggest shock was on New Year's Eve? On New Year's Eve, well, you, you had definitely prepared me for a long night. Yes. But, you know, here in the States, you get to a party at maybe 9, 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. something like that, 10 p.m., um, and you kind of count down till midnight, and then maybe yep. the bars are open late, yada, yada, yada. Yep. A, they're not open any later than they are on a regular day, so... By right. 2 a.m., you're yeah, home at, two. at this point. So, the starting <laughs> in Spain, off the bat, the starting at noon on December 31st. Yeah, it was about noon. Uh, was pretty incredible. For us, I think it's fair to say in the U.S., New Year's Eve starts at night. It's not like a full day affair. Is that right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's hanging out on the street. Mm -hmm. like the streets were packed. Um, it's definitely all very like bar culture or it's even like house party culture in, mm -hmm. in the States. Like it's, oh, a lot of times people have like new year's parties during the day or at night. No, no. at night. At, at night. night. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But nothing like what we did that night. Yeah. Cause we went out and I remember, gosh, I think the one place actually, like they had, you know, you get your tapas with a, with a drink in Castilla Mancha. I know this is not something in every part of Spain, right? You don't always get the free food, but I almost feel like they had like a big thing of food. I want to say it was migas. And they just like brought it outside and were like, yes. get your migas, guys. Like you do it yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that now because you guys are eating on the street. The bartenders were like all young and hot and like <laughs> wearing nothing. It was cold. Wearing nothing. It was cold. But they, I, I just remember them being like hot, young yeah. people like... Yeah, and mind you, it's not even 9 o'clock yet. No, not even... No, it's light outside. It's light outside. And then we were tired because that's a lot. So we had to take a little nap. And we had to rally because, like I said to you, this I remember this vividly because I was worried because this has happened to me before. I was like, Allie, <laughs> at some point tonight, you think you're going to be having a great time. You're excited, but you're going to be miserable and you're going to be done. And you're going to look at me and you're like, can we go home? And I'm going to say No. <laughs> And you're like, no, that won't happen. And I was like, okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah. And I think it was like, okay, we have to go home or else someone's carrying, someone will have to carry us home. And I was like, we have to mm -hmm. go home, get changed, eat dinner. We had dinner at like 11 p.m. Yeah, which dinner at 11 ever is, that's never, who, it's odd. no one does that. It's very strange that, in the U.S. No one does that. No, ever. that would be like For any a, holiday whatsoever. And the New Year's kiss is also unique. Yeah, you got a kiss. You, gotta, you, you, you feel gotta, like you have like your New Year's kiss. There's a and lot it's of like, pressure it's like to a, have a New Year's kiss. Mm -hmm. A lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah. So I actually like not having to have one. I think it's, it's, it's too much pressure probably. Yeah. For single people. Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. Mm -hmm. Well, we, I feel like we hugged and we hugged and kissed each other. You guys kiss all the time. Oh, yeah. You guys kiss each other anyway all the time. <laughs> You're so, right. I think in Spain it is more of like a feliz año and you do yeah. the two, you know, los dos besos yeah. to everybody. And I feel like, I it's feel funny. like the Americans have adopted some of that kind of like more yeah. familiar kissing. You can kiss anyone. Mm -hmm. You just kiss you on the cheek. Mm -hmm. But like the movie version is definitely romantic. having a romantic kiss. Yeah. Um, and you're like right. planning it out. And, and if you don't have one, then you're sad and are a loser. Well, we had a par private party with friends first before the club. But it was after New Year's. Like that's, Yeah, it was like one in the that's morning. That's the point. It's just like when it strikes, strikes midnight, that's the start of the wrapping of the party. Yes, so I might, see what you're saying. You might keep going at the same party you're at. Yeah. But it's very rare to like go somewhere else. Yes. Because it, that would be the end. That in the U.S. The that, yes, that's, the, that's like the, the climax of yeah, the night. the climax of the night. Is Whereas the night. in Spain, it was like, okay, now that's done, let's begin the night. Yes, yeah. Because I remember the club closing. Like, the club's lights came on. And that was, you but that was like eight and it was, in the morning. And it, yeah, it was, light, it was light outside. And we got breakfast. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we didn't get to bed probably till 
10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would. I think definitely in the year after that I was back in yeah. the states, I would talk about that night constantly. Oh, the grapes. <gasps> the, grapes. the grapes. How could we forget those? Yeah, that was a surprise to you, right? And why do they do that? I doesn't make any sense. <laughs> We're eating 12 grapes at each yeah. stroke. You know how hard it is to peel a grape? Like, it's really hard to peel I mean, a why grape. Why would you peel a grape? So they go down faster, so you get oh, your good luck. I don't think I did that. So that was New Year's, and then Allie was still around for Reyes. But you're a Catholic, so you, I mean, this is also a holiday in the U.S. for Catholics, but but very differently celebrated. Yeah, very different. What is so, it's got a name, right? Is it Epiphany? Is that right? It's the Epiphany. Okay. Yeah, no, Three Kings Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You do, like, Mass, and there's, like, usually a little cute little procession with the kids or something like that. It's very minimal. Very, only at yeah. church. There's right. nothing else happening. No parades. No parades. No, you don't do anything with your family. It's yeah. just a church holiday. Did you know the Three Kings names? I, I did. You yeah. always know. Okay, so that's a thing. Yeah. 18 years of Catholic education. Yeah. When you're kids, you would have to write up, write their um, Melchior, Balbazar, and Casper's, like, initials on your door. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like... Did you have a favorite? No, I didn't have a favorite. So we don't actually talk about them as, like, individuals yeah. ever. Yeah. And no one would ever have a favorite. That would be really weird I to know, talk about. I know. People talk about their favorites in Spain. Like, oh, my favorite king. Now I, re now I remember. And remember, you got a little present from one of the kings. Well, oh, well, I did get a present from the kings. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember, because we were, we were in Barcelona and Madrid around mm -hmm. that time. Mm -hmm. And you could go, instead of, like, Santa. Yes! Oh, my God. That's right! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the States, you would go see, in the month before Santa. Christmas, you go see Santa. You yeah. go sit on Santa's lap and you yeah. tell him what you want. And it's at like the mall. Mm -hmm. But we were there on the street. Yeah. Was, like, on the street. And that maybe is why kids have their favorite. Because maybe mom and dad are like, oh, we're not going to all three of the kings. Which king are we going to? Now, I forgot about that. That, that, uh, that I've never seen that before. Where they're just like mm -hmm. on the street. Mm -hmm. And the people are lined up on the, you know, mm -hmm. to go visit them. Yeah. And we saw the parade. There were live animals. That was interesting. And they would throw the candy and people would have their umbrellas like upside down to catch more. <laughs> but my favorite experience for you at least, maybe, maybe that mine too probably, is the cake. El yeah. ros roscón de reyes. Yes. Yeah, that was a new tradition um, for me to experience too. So we we did it a lot too. <laughs> I feel like everywhere we went, the restaurants, was the it family. The, was it like three times at least? I three times. Yeah. You were lucky. You I got good... the baby, the bean, the, or just some, it's like a something. The premio, I think they usually call it, like the prize. Yeah, the prize. Beans. 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 Okay. I think I got the bean. Oh. Oh. No. Yes. A pagar, a pagar. <laughs> That means I had to buy yeah. the cake the next year. But you didn't. But I didn't go back. I wish I could have. I what would a, do it. What a shame. I'm going to do it eventually. It was a panda? I can't believe you just found that. It was a panda. Now. It was well, a little panda. It was, it's a lucky charm. And so mm. I've kept I've kept it. Um, and, I, and I carry it with me. Was 2019 a good year? Did it turn out well? 2019 was a great year. It was honestly that to New Year's 2020... The pandemic was right after that. So that Man. was, I had one year of um, great parties. If you just had another king's cake, maybe we could have avoided all this. There he is. Pues nada. Espero que os haya gustado el vídeo. Si has notado diferencias parecidas celebrando Noche Vieja en otros países, pues cuéntanos en los comentarios. Si te ha gustado el vídeo, por favor, déjanos el pulgar hacia arriba, que ayuda mucho con el crecimiento del canal. Y nos vemos en el siguiente. Hasta luego.